I'm back with my co-host Jason Kennedy. Yeah, that was Cheyenne Jackson on the set of Call Me Cat, entertaining <laughs> Maya Bialik, who's still wa uh, laughing right now about it. First of all, how did you know he had this hidden talent? Yeah. And that might be the best one I've ever heard. So there was an episode where he had to be in a in a in a clown suit, and there was a horn, and he just made the sound <laughs> with his voice, and I was like. That's not that was it. Horrible. I thank it you wasn't for calling it. me out. I mean, like. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> it's so perfect in the level it's of. It's also yesterday. perfect because, like, he's this, like, Adonis of a man who's, like, immensely talented. Broadway, but like that just tickles me that he knows how to do that. Who knew he had it in him? It's so great. Uh, I love on Call Me Cat. Anytime you have any of your Blossoms castmates, come on. What has that show meant for you? I feel like that was such a great move for you. I mean, it was, you know, our season opener of season two on Call Me Cat. We did this very meta, like, oh. was Cat a Blossom fan? Yes, she was, because many quirky, you know, <laughs> independent females, you know, definitely um, liked the Blossom vibe. And so we had Cat get to meet Joey and oh. Jenna and Michael and um, fangirl out on them which was, it's very sweet. I mean, they were a huge part of my life from the time I was 14 to 19. We grew up together. For us, like, we were each other's junior high and high school. You know, we still teach, like, tease each other like siblings. That's what it is. We still tease Joey. And, you know, it's only like, Joey. When we tease, we say, and we tease Joey. No, Joe. they also <laughs> tease me. Everybody and teases you. everybody. And you. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so the last time you were here, I wasn't here for this, but apparently you went on a date uh, at a cemetery, <laughs> and remember? I need a follow-up. Yes. What happened? We were playing the game, and we asked the no, last was, date you went on or something. Happened? It was the... <laughs> what happened? We're still together. We haven't been to a cemetery again. <laughs> Once was enough. That's the kind of thing, like, one cemetery date is enough. And now your movie, As They Made Us, is this a labor of love? You wrote, you directed it. Has this, how long have you been working on this? So my father um, passed away seven years ago, and there's a very specific year of mourning in traditional Judaism that we go through. And after that year, so six years ago, something like opened up in my brain, memories and feelings and music, like things started coming to me in a way that they hadn't before. And I was like, I think I should write this down. But I wasn't thinking I'm gonna make a movie. Or, like that wasn't, I just needed to get it out of here and somewhere else. And I sat on it for like a year. And then I finally showed it to a couple people close to me and they were like, this is really good. And I was like, well, we need to find a writer. Oh, and I'm like, no, so you wrote it. Now we take it to your agency, and that's what I did. And yeah. but, but it was your screenwriting and directorial debut. Correct. And you land, I mean, you got Hoffman, you got Candace. This is insane. Yeah, Dustin Hoffman and Candace Bergen played the parents. Diana Agron and um, Simon Helberg from Big Bang Theory are the kids, and that is this family. And it's more just about, like, redemptive qualities that we all have and that we have to also find in the people who sometimes hurt us. Like, that's kind of what happens in families. Uh, we have a clip of your oh. movie. Roll it. You want me to do this? No, I can do it. Okay. Yeah, but I don't have my feet ready. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I... Oh, God. Uh, 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 I don't like you, Ben. I, I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Great. Don't let her bend. Hey, Ben. You sure you don't want... No, I'm good, Pat. You know, Darren's girlfriend is 20, uh, and she's pregnant. Yeah. How are we going to stop this endless cycle? Watch out! What's a daisy? I'm fine, Abigail. I'm fine. Everybody's fine. Everybody's Legendary. fine. I'm sorry, we just got to give it up right there. Thank you. How did mom feel about Candace playing her? Did she get to oh, cast her? No, she didn't get to cast her. But I keep telling my mother, we need to not think about it that like this is our family. Because things happen in this movie that never happened. Mm -hmm. Candace made decisions about how to portray this character that is not, she's never met my mother. But my mother just is such a huge Candace Bergen fan. She's like, of course you. There I am. Candace. Of course. <laughs> exactly. Is it true that Dustin couldn't believe it was your screenwriting debut? Well, he didn't know me from Big Bang Theory, which is fine. Like, he asked to meet me after reading the script. He knew you from Blossom. No, <laughs> I don't think he knew me. I mean, he was like, how'd you get interested in directing? And I said, Mr. Hoffman, I've <laughs> directed and this is my first screenplay. And he said, well, I was very, very moved by this writing. And, and then he didn't know who Simon Helberg was either, because also Big Bang Theory. So the first time they rehearsed, he's like, 
this Helberg guy is pretty good. I was like, yeah, he's, he's pretty good. He's going places. He's done it before. Do you have the itch now for more of that, more writing, more directing? You know, I've been bossy since I'm like three. So <laughs> directing was like, it was finally a career where you can like be bossy and meticulous and things actually work well when people like do all the things that you say, please do this. So it was actually a very good fit for me personality wise. And I'm very busy. I, I do work on Jeopardy. I, I know where I am the end of the season. Wait, so I need, like I need time. I need time to write more. Jeopardy, for you to be up there, what does that feel like? Um, it goes quickly because it's very enjoyable. I'm learning all day. I'm getting to see these people with knowledge and an ability to hold information that is completely so far beyond what I can access in terms of retaining any information. It's fun. The days fly by there. It's very, very, very enjoyable. It's such a rad gig. Um, should we bring it up right now? Well, this. Okay. <laughs> I didn't is this, even see is this that the there. doll that I'm grabbing? Yeah, and, and we've got something over here too. When the Blossom doll came out, yes. what do you remember? Did you have to sit for this? Like, what did so we do? So I didn't. I didn't. Hi. Hi. Um, I, <laughs> so, well, my, I didn't sit for it because I think I was just on television all the time. Yes. Yeah. But what I will tell you is, she's not Barbie height. Mm. She's not skipper height. So a little bit in between. Did you make sure of that? No, it's just. But for the age that. Our characters were, she was a little older than Skipper, but a little younger than Barbie. She has multiple piercings oh. in her ears, which I do as well. And she has a prominent nose. They specifically made sure that she looked, she looked more like me than I the Barbie doll nose. Any of this. I love that. I mean, I think that's why she kind of looks like me, because she doesn't have like, just like a standard issue Barbie nose. It's a vibe. We <laughs> updated your Blossom. Here's some new versions. Here we go. Here's Big Bang. <laughs> <laughs> we Here's, got Call what? Me Cat. Here's Call Me Cat. That's oh. adorable. Who did this? Oh, we got people. Look at that. And Wait, you're the also host of Jeopardy. We will give you those. I mean, that's adorable. And then if you Blossom ready? gets lonely, here we go. Here he is. We got you a Joey. Here's my question. <laughs> this was always my question. Why doesn't he have real hair? It's a great question. He had such beautiful, question. that man had a beautiful hair. Totally good call. And they do this and it's like. Hey. We're going to put our best people I on I mean. It. It's, oh, oh, wait, oh. wait a minute. Maya? Right, Maya? It is a Careful. family program. <laughs> In his regular hair. Uh, great to see you. Congrats Thank on you. everything going on in your life. Can't wait to it's see what you do next. As They Made Us is in theaters right now. Check it out. It's so good. Up next, we're telling you what to watch and pairing the perfect cocktail to go with it. Coming up next. I never noticed that about your dog.